Hi, Miss Ems. Hello. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Are you in the school? Um, no, I'm, uh, I'm at home right now, uh, but I just finished with my first day of my final exam. So I'm sorry for being late. No, it's okay. I'm so curious, you know, because everything happens so quick. You know, yes. like, I feel like shock. You know, normally... Why, why you feel shock? Because normally I can go in the plane and then come back right away, but... <laughs> <laughs> But no, you, you can't. But no, you can't. No, it's like, oh my God, you know, sometimes I, it's like I feel bored and then I just want to go to Manila and then come back in the polo or I do, I will go to Thailand. It's like now I feel like, oh my God. And it's like if you go in another town, like yes. you go in another town and then that, that town is okay. And then the next town is locked down, you know, and like you're scared. Like how you can Oh, stop. okay, okay. Yeah. So you you can go anywhere. <gasps> yes. victim. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Oh, hold on. Uh, so what I was Okay, saying, it's okay. Is it's like I was thinking like sometimes when I go out I have to bring a suitcase because in case if I lock down somewhere else <laughs> my stuff, you know. Okay. So <laughs> how, how's the situation in Indonesia? Sorry, I can hear you. How's this is how is the situation there? Like, is it like is it difficult to move? Like the rules and regulation. Um, to be honest, it is not uh, too difficult to move. Like, we still we we can still go anywhere, but we have to bring our um, how we call it um, documents or a test result. Yes, the document like. Uh, before, before um, we have a trip, we need yeah. to we, we need to test. Mm -hmm. We need to test uh, our uh, COVID status mm -hmm. to uh, do we positive or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to uh, make a document mm -hmm. at the hospital, and then we can go for a trip. Yeah, yeah. it's very crazy, huh? Normally, all we need yeah. <laughs> is like. It was uh, okay in the first like three months or two months. It yes. was okay. But now it's like, it seems like it's almost one year already. Uh, yep, it's almost one year already. So, oh, no, I'm wearing this. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, is, it your shirt? is it your t shirt? Yeah. Because it's like, I feel I, like <sighs> I miss so many things when I wear this one, you know, like so many good memories. Yep. So, to be honest, I rarely wear uh, my man of the world t-shirt. So like, I just I just wear it last last weekend, and yeah. it's still in my washing machine. So <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, you know, it's like you know, this time there's so many people are actually depressed. Because, yes. And also that's why here my advocacy area is helping the farmers because you know what happened. You know, we cannot go to the mall or we cannot just, the people, what if the people doesn't have any money? So we are very lucky to have a very big land here. So now I'm empowering people, like especially the farmers, to actually take care of the land and, and, and uh, plant more vegetables because, you know, we have it. Some other people, they don't have it. So that's, I'm very, being busy here and I'm, I'm very productive, but it's just, there's one thing that sometimes yeah, you had fun doing that, but at the same time, you miss the lifestyle, you know, like going sometimes in the nice restaurant. But I'm okay, you know, and that's why I'm keeping myself busy. And I want to know, especially for you, from being pageant, having, uh, you, you join the pageant, and then, you know, it's like, how do you feel? Like, how, how did you manage? Like some of us, especially for me, I, in the business, it's like, it's 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 for you guys. You are students, so obviously you're kind of depending on your parents. I'm not sure about that, but for us, as uh, you know, we, we are an independent. So we are. I'm a business person, so it's kind of difficult for me right now. But I'm okay. But it's not the same, you know. So you yes. have the same level of stress. <laughs> yeah. After part of this, right? Uh, everything is will not be same anymore. 
Yeah. So how, <laughs> how did you manage? What is your advice to people? Actually, like this is the thing, uh, because it's hard for me to just talk on my own, and it's it's nice to hear from someone. What is your opinion, and how 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 do you motivate the people who actually feel stuck, or maybe they feel like they don't have any choice, or how how do you advise them? Okay, first of all, uh, 2020 was my was my worst year, maybe. <laughs> I think it's for everybody, the whole world, actually. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, this year happened from the beginning of the year in Indonesia. Like we had a flood, a big flood in Jakarta city, like in the, our uh, capital city. We have a big flood. Oh, and and took a lot of victims, like a thousands. Oh, by flood, yes. In uh, in the beginning of this year, mm -hmm. and then what happened? Uh, and the second quarter was uh, like disaster, disaster, and disaster. Like mm -hmm. so many um, celebrities mm -hmm. death mm -hmm. this year, like uh, Brian, uh, basketball player. Mm -hmm. uh, Indonesian singer, mm -hmm. a lot of people that <laughs> this year, like, whoa, 2020 went worse. Yeah. So, like, my advocacy, well, for, for, for me, for me, for me, uh, this year's, oh, went hard, went hard for me. Like, I got, I got uh, many problems in my life and I try to fix it up. I try to fix it up. And this year I'm talking to you. Uh, we are calling at this moment. I feel like I'm someone different. Uh, like, uh, I, uh, I'm now it's like, I'm somebody new mm -hmm. with a new mindset, new spirit. Mm -hmm. um, after everything happened, this year, mm -hmm. it changed me a lot. Mm -hmm. it, it touched me a lot, and I learned so many things. I learned some, uh, how to deal with the problem, how to deal with myself also, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel a big change, a big changes in my life, like uh, my mindset, my way how to see the world my way how to communicate with others like i learned a lot these years so to people out there maybe uh, i could say keep moving mm -hmm. don't give up because uh everything can be happened good or bad it will it will it will be happened mm -hmm. so keep moving like if you want to ride these uh, bicycles you can just stuck and idle but mm -hmm. you have to keep pushing keep moving so your life is gonna be uh balanced yeah like that mm -hmm. um to me what i learned is that all those materials all those things that i realized that i don't have to buy stuff that i don't really need anymore and i think savings saving money it's very, very important because you realize that no matter what happened, you always need cash. It's good to invest, but invest wisely. You know what I mean? And yep. I was so happy. Actually, I was so happy that I did that event before pandemic because that event also gives my name popular and it, yep. gives, it makes my me as a person like something. So I could not imagine... Yes doing the what i am doing now and it didn't happen because i don't have anything to show to people that i can actually do this so although i lost some business but this is not only myself it's like the whole world basically so there's nothing uh to feel bad because uh, but at least i'm doing better so now finally i got my learning center while i'm being here and I'm going to be very happy teaching the farmers, the kids, and even uh, every day, almost every day, people are trying to help me. And they said, oh, how can we help? And I said, my project is not about putting up some 
huge amounts. It's all about believing in something. You know, I told yep. if one peso, because, you know, it's pandemic and obviously people need money. People cannot afford to have expensive or to even donate something. So I told them, maybe it's, hold on, because I got so many meetings, like, oh my God. I <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Ms. Ems. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Anyways, so I told them, although it's pandemic, I keep doing what I believe. So now yep. if people wants to help me or wants to believe, uh, if they believe what I do, I said, even one peso, one peso each person. And you know what? If it's one peso, one person, imagine if one billion or how many billion of people believes in what I do for one peso, how much are you going to have? And it's not about giving big amount. It's about putting together. It's like one peso, it's yourself, represents yourself actually. And I keep telling this because all oh, like, yeah, it's, I think it's impossible to make it happen because it's pandemic. And I said, well, God put me already in the area where it's a huge land. Like and I can still move compared to the big city that it's only buildings is there. So here we have a chance to grow our own food, to grow our, uh, we are, we all, I also live next to the ocean. So there's nothing to really um, complain because I'm already lucky to have that. Yeah. Yeah. So now instead of getting stuck here and getting depressed, so I empower the farmers, tribes, and do something to continue because I always believe that whatever happens in life, we should keep moving, even if it's a little thing. And also to keep our mind being worried of something because, and that's why sometimes, you know, when you help, sometimes you feel upset because it's like you don't care. But it, that's, we cannot change ourselves because of that people. And that's how yep. I see it now. I maybe I lost some business in Makati because Makati right now is like to me, it's like when I go there, I don't know if I'm alive next week or I don't know. I'm not saying that it's too dangerous, but it's better for me to stay here because I have nice air. Uh, I, ne I live to, next to the ocean. I eat fresh food and fresh fish. When I eat chicken, it's like it's still alive from there, like from the farm. So I don't really need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get a fresh meat. <laughs> I feel bad. Like every time, like they give me a chicken, I feel like I feel like a criminal because they have to kill the chicken. I'm sorry for my, but it's like how you can kill somebody first and then you eat. So I prepare that yeah. kid. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Like, but <laughs> sometimes I don't want to. I feel like, okay, just give it to me. It's cooked already, but don't give me the chicken. <laughs> okay, okay. So, but you are not a vegetarian, right? No, 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 no. But it's, I feel okay. bad when you, when you, when you kill. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's like sometimes I prepare to just eat vegetables. I think it's better. But you know, yeah. <laughs> like chicken anyways, especially the barbecue. So these are the yeah. things I'm, um, you know, like, and then I was appointed as an ambassador of the indigenous people. And I should give you the link. You know, it's coming from Indonesia. Actually, the first people here in Mindanao, in Sambuanga Peninsula, in Dipo, from Dipolo, around some, it's, it's, it's huge here. So it's like the, the story, it's, it's, it's actually the reason why I was thinking of you first to interview because originally we are from Indonesia, actually. Okay. So now, like, we are trying to rebuild the culture, the history, and I feel so great of being involved. And I was appointed as an ambassador of that, uh, I mean, the indigenous people. So, yeah, I'm very happy. Uh, when, when I think like this, this is me in the province, and this is in me in Manila. So when I think of Manila, I feel like... <gasps> What happened to my condo? What happened to my clients? What happened to my business? It's like, what happened to the toilet? Maybe the water already went to... So it's like, there's so many things that goes in my head. Maybe the air condition is not working anymore. I don't know, but I'm, I'm just happy being alive because I can all, we can always buy condo or we can always... All these materials things. So now, 
So instead of uh, getting worried, so I'm just going to be building something here, teaching the kids. As you can see on my Facebook, I am feeding the yes. kids, teaching them. They're so happy to see the banana. Oh, we can make something with the banana. And sometimes the farmers are so happy, like you see like, oh, we can actually do this. And yeah, I, I'm going to continue that. And um, You have to. Yeah, I have to because uh, once the pandemic will end, and I'm sure that there's a big result. And I, I, I think that's uh, what happened also, like the people forgot the reality. We, the people think that we can just live always in the buildings and we forgot to, to, to take care of the, the, the nature, you know? It's like, yep. now I really appreciate the farmers because without them, I think we will go. We cannot get. Yeah. So I think so. And I think this kind of advocacy, we, we need to, to really like people should connect how we can support this kind of people because they are actually our provider without farmers and without taking care of the land, we will go hungry. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have to support each other uh, as a human, yes. as a human being. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's like, you know, sometimes I have like enough money. Like I'm not used to doing budgeting, you know, to me it's like, like. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it go. Just let it go. Let it happen. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but now I realize like I can actually live like this. And it's like, you know, I have my chili in the garden. I have yeah. my, uh, how do you call this? Like a uh, cucumber in the garden. I have so many mm. things in the garden. I'm like, well, this is actually nice, you know. We are so <laughs> <laughs> we are so worried about the jewelry or the car or the nice car. Yeah. Even the cars now are stuck because you can't just go anywhere. It helps, but you don't need all those luxury. Just because right now what happened is poor or rich, we all suffer in the same way. How long, you, how, how long have you been stayed in the, the Pollock City? It's eight months straight without flying. Can you believe that? Whoa! <laughs> it's eight months straight? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine what will happen if this happened to me. Like, <laughs> I went to another city like once a month. Oh, oh, no, no. Twice a month. And I need to refresh my mind. So, like, mm. I need to see... Uh, Forest, I need to see it. mountain like mm. uh, <laughs> this. Bring it, this, this bring it, uh, refreshing. Mm. I, I we have nice beach here. We have a we have everything here. But uh, uh, I miss the clubbing thing too. But not so. Much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> it's like this is this is truth. That's the truth. <laughs> the truth is, yeah, because we like to balance, right? Yes, yes, we, we, need, we, we need to balance. I miss the gym, the normal gym that we can just do whatever, like, you know, but now yeah. I'm just like running and, you know, it's like normal, like, I'm just like, oh my God. And I got like a lot of freezers, so all my food is there. I have my sewing machines, so I can still make clothes. I feel like I have everything here, like the farming, and I have the sewing machines. I have my car here. So I'm still very, very grateful. In short, I'm just really happy. Although my business in Manila is kind of really screwed. Well, it is screwed. It's totally screwed because it's, I'm sorry for my language, but it's, it's, it, it's sad, but we will always get back. And, and that's why I, I was so, I was looking for some ways. How, uh, how can we deliver? How can we express? How can we uh how can we advise to the people you know i mean especially those people who just live in the city and relying on their job and now they lose their jobs and probably depending on the government you know it's it's very sad right yep so um now uh, like i said i will continue what i'm doing here and even if the pandemic is over and I'm just, I just can't wait. And I hope one day, once everything is back to normal and we can get together again. And, you know, and I think that motivating each other is really important, you know. Yes. Uh, it's, it's how's your parents? How, how do you, I mean, the business way, I, I don't know what they do, but how do you cope up with something? Did you feel the difference too? 
Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, like uh, after this pandemic, like everything's changed uh, about their business, also about um, our finance, fin- fin- about our about our financial. Like it went hard. Yeah. Every everybody felt it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I told them that we have to keep moving. We have to keep uh, positive. Like. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to keep our positive energy in our life. So we just erase uh, the negative energy and keep mm. focus on the positive ones. So here we are, still in <laughs> still in my home, and yeah, we we uh, we need to keep moving, keep balance, and let let get to the rest. <laughs> And I think that right now we shouldn't be thinking about other things except just daily basis, like daily needs, food, shelter. That's what we need to think about. We should not be thinking about the profit and anything because it's all about surviving this time because everybody suffered in the same way. And um, so, yeah, I, I, I feel... Um, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm actually being on holiday at the same time because before I'm too busy. Like, yes, my finance is changed a lot. And um, it's, it, it's something that it's not the same. It's like for me, I had to spend my baby from uh, 5,000 pesos, which is $100 to $200 a day. And now it's changed a lot. <laughs> it's like sometimes I, I don't have to spend like 100 pesos here. Like, I just spent nothing because everything is very cheap here anyways. So oh, okay. yeah, it's very cheap. It's like, you know, you you can buy even for the fish here. Like you can buy like maybe 200 pesos for one kilo, which is like- So, the, so the prices is changed also? Um, I didn't really, not really. I don't, I, yeah, that's a very good question. I didn't really feel it. I think the mask only the mask has changed. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Uh, the mask getting so expensive right at this moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's becoming in demand. So I think that's the best. Um, yeah. It's a very good question. Maybe because I was not too, maybe because, and that's exactly what I was fighting for, that we should continue the farming. My, like yeah. I said, my advocacy, because the reason I didn't really feel that uh, kind of situation like, the food is getting expensive. It's because I live in the farm. I was staying there for five months and everything is like, if you need coconut, it's there next to you. If you need banana, it's near next to you. If you need chicken, it's just, okay. you just have to catch, to catch it. If you need vegetables, it's just in the garden. So that's why I didn't really feel that, you know? And then during the, uh, when the first lockdown, I was buying like 35 sacks of rice Oh, <laughs> and then that I, was so much, so 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 much. Much, but I was giving yeah. it. I was feeding the frontliners here. I was giving to like the people in like you know like the police or the people like in the disaster or like the people who works in the government. So they are lucky. So they are they are they are so lucky to having you. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually want to continue. So now. I'm trying to, I'm going to sell food online. So if I get sponsors and maybe feed to the kids instead of going to deliver to them, and that will continue uh, for me to continue the farmers because if we keep planting and the, the, the vegetables or the, whatever the income from the farm or the, the crops, they don't know where to put it. So if they plant, they should have someone to take care of it, to sell it. So that's my advocacy right now. So always helping and also promoting the uh, uh, indigenous here. And since they are very good into farming, so what I want to do is to make them better, educate them into better farming so we can produce something that everyone is happy with a job and we can feed other people also. So yeah, yeah. it's, wow, I, I'm, I feel like there's something in my shoulder like, for how many months now that I just need to let out how I feel about this whole thing. And it's like from different culture, different view of life. It's like 
not everyone has the same situation. You know, for me, I'm lucky. I live in a big place. It's a 1,000 square meter here. It's green and I have all the food I need here. I have my computer and I'm so lucky that two weeks before the lockdown, my car arrived here in the Polo City. You know, can you believe that? Can you believe that? You were so lucky, right? <laughs> yeah, and it's like two weeks before lockdown. Oh my God. And you know what's happening? It's like my car is like I put the food for the frontliners. And sometimes there's people having baby. So I have to let them use my car. And I'm riding a motorbike. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I'm yeah, riding yeah. a motorbike and my car is somewhere in the hospital because somebody have, is having baby. Okay. Yeah, so it's okay because that's the life. This is the life. And as long as I don't get sick, and that's really, really most important. And uh, yeah, also what else your message to the people? Maybe, you know, from a man of the world, Indonesia, I miss everybody actually. There's so many memories that I never expect that. After Me too. That, you know, it, it's kind of emotional because I was actually expecting to explore more, maybe travel in Indonesia or even in Thailand, in Malaysia. Like that was my plan. But it's also, it's like, if it didn't happen, I will not be here and taking care of the people and be surrounded with it and understand them and try to motivate, motivate, them, motivate them and keep doing that. So what, what, what is your message to the people? Like, I'm sure you know that I'm going to upload this in YouTube because this is very important. So oh, so you record this one? Okay. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh. Yes. I just realized that uh, you were recording the, our okay. conversation at this moment. It's okay. So how, wow, what? okay. To the, uh, so to all the people out there like wherever you are, whoever you are. Stay positive, keep moving because we all feel the impact, the effect of this pandemic. Everybody feel lost, everybody feel down and... I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, we need to be somebody in this world like mm -hmm. uh, the darkness is surrounding us mm -hmm. and we must be the light. Mm -hmm. We must make a big change at this moment. Mm -hmm. So be more human. For me, the message is be more human because like humans are uh, sometimes lost their control as a human. Mm -hmm. Humans sometimes lost their humanity behavior. Exactly. Sometimes like they created their own meaning of human. Yeah. Like maybe they feel like they are the God in this world, in this earth, in this planet, but the reality is human is human. We live together, we need each other and we need to support each other. We, we need to live with each other. So please remove the ego. Please remove the feeling that uh, the feeling that you don't need each other. In fact, we need each other to live. We need friends, we need uh, farmers, we need uh, we need everybody in this world. Mm -hmm. We need to live together. We need to uh, hand to hand with each other, and let go to the rest. Uh, I wish this pandemic is, uh, will be end soon, mm -hmm. and we can live our new life soon and keep moving keep optimistic keep up, uh, optimist mm -hmm. and 
I believe and I do really believe uh, uh, good things will happen soon. Yeah. You know, you make me cry because when you say maybe we don't need each other, but actually we need each other. You know, you know, yeah. What said, yeah, sometimes I have that feeling and that's also I have to put myself that you are so right about sometimes that we lost ourselves, like we lost control. Sometimes we say things we don't really mean because out of anger, because of the frustration, you know? Yeah. And that's why, yeah, after this, I'm going to learn. I think I'm going to pray, like, to learn to forgive. Because sometimes I feel like people are just people. Like, you don't think before they speak. Yeah. And because of the situation, you know? So thank you for that. And that's exactly why I needed to talk to somebody. Because sometimes I feel like I'm so angry with that person. And like you said, maybe that person also has a struggle. And that's why she, she or he is acting like that. So Exactly. So we have to understand so many things and di in different angles, you know. So maybe I should yeah. say, hey, I already forgive you. <laughs> because I have that experience lately that people are just completely strange. And um, yeah, anyways, I think this is a good thing. And I hope that I can talk to the candidates more on whoever they are. They want to do so, you know, maybe in the future we can, uh, we can uh, invite more people and yeah, let's have some ideas, you know, and who knows, you guys can also work for the contact needle because that's an online thing, you yeah. know, you can have fun. Yeah, we will talk about that. And like I said, you know, to, to the people who wants to help me or to wants to be part of my advocacy. Um, like now, you know, in Manila, I'm not sure how the food there because of the situation, I think they're okay, but it's not really okay. And I wish I can help, you know. But the transportation, that's a difficult thing right now. But somehow, someday, I, I, I want to help. I want to just, because here in Mindanao, you know, we are very rich in natural resources and culture. It's just lack of motivation. And that's exactly why I brought you guys here, because I want them to wake up in a different world. And I want the world to see our place, that we have a very rich culture and natural resources. And I'm hoping to, to build it up. And I want to be the person also can, I want to be that uh, one person can, or how they can, I want to be the, I'm one of them that can actually lift up the place. So anyways, I will not hold you because I know you're so tired and it looks like somebody just scratched your head because you've just been in exam. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got my, I just got my hair long hmm. and it's tight right at this moment. So like, yeah, I got new hair since I came back from uh, Man of the World competition. Mm -hmm. really so yeah. like at the edge of my hair yeah, like i bring it i i was bring it at my at the philippines <laughs> so are, are you are you doing modeling after the man of the world or you just went back to university straight uh i, I went to university straight like uh, because my parents want me wants me to uh to finish like uh finish as soon as possible so like i need to focus mm -hmm. to my uh, university and to my courses uh, but sometimes like if somebody need me as a model or yeah. I got job mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it but not too much yeah so yeah that, that's good education is very important and uh, yeah. well, we, we continue and and th I want to thank you for your time and it really helps me actually I cried because Yes. Thank you so much, Miss Ems. I, I forgot that we are all human beings. We suffer in different angles or different ways. And yep. no matter what, we just have to forgive each other. Yes. So we need to hand to hand. Hand to hand. To hand. And it's okay yeah. to have a beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish, but you know, I tried to because oh speaking of drinking, before I don't want to get drunk because. If I have a hangover, I don't want to think, am I having already a virus or what? Because I don't want to have a headache. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> I don't want to worry. So I prefer not to drink. But I think this time it's okay. You know? Yeah. I'm not saying to drink, but just enjoy whatever. Let's not lose hope. And yeah. Anyways, thank you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's. Thank you so much, Miss Ems. Okay. I'm going to say bye bye now because I have another meeting. Okay. Again. Okay. It doesn't look like it's pandemic because my fault still the same it's always okay we've had so many meetings i thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. thank you so much miss ems for uh your time also okay thank you
Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ams. Thank you. I miss everyone. Bye bye. Let's take a let's take a pic. Wait. One, two, and three. One more time. One, two, and three. Okay. Thank you, Miss Ams. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Thank you, Miss Ams. Bye, Miss Ams. Bye.